Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we are at the Great Wolf Lodge in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I'm going to show you absolutely everything there is to do here, so let's get going. Alright, well we're just headed into the hotel. We didn't have too many things, but they do have luggage carts here if you need them. We just got checked in. We handed off our bags to Bell Services. They do have a place where you can store your bags. Check-in is at four o'clock, but you can get access to the water park here at Great Wolf Lodge as early as 1 p.m. on check-in day. And it's open till 8 p.m. You have access till 8 p.m. on check-out day as well. Uh, however, if you arrive at those three hours before check-in time, you'll wanna have a place to put your bags. Like I said, you can go use the water park, avail yourself of the other amenities here. Uh, they gave us our wristbands already, which we have to put on. They're kind of like our key to the world. Um, you know, they get us into our room. They get us into the water park, uh, towels at the water park. Um, they said that there is a charge if you lose them or they break, so take good care of them. All that stuff is really right here on the wristbands, which we're gonna put on shortly. After that, we're gonna come over here to the Buckhorn Exchange and we're gonna get our wolf ears, free wolf ears. Everybody gets them for coming to the Great Wolf Lodge. Here they are with the wolf ears. Don't mind Benjamin's face. He doesn't want to wear the ears, <laughs> but he's happy to be here. He just doesn't want to wear the ears. Looks like they have a Ben and Jerry's in here as well as a Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' is uh, only open in the morning probably. And over here is Great Wolf Candy Company. A playground. You see a playground? Yeah. Camp Howl, Build-A-Bear Workshops. They got a Build-A-Bear in here. Magic West building over here off to the left where you can purchase Magic West things. Attraction sales in this booth. You can buy individual things. So we have a mini golf in here. We have a fun ropes course up there up above. This is the Howl in One mini golf. They've got a nine hole course, I believe, right here below the ropes course. It's uh, not very large, not very large at all. And then the ropes course is above that area. And behind all of that is Wiley's Water Park, which we're gonna do a little bit later, not right now. Next we have Ten Paw Alley. So a little bowling alley that you can come in here and pay. I think they said it's $7 a person for if you wanna come use their little bowling alley. Here at Oliver's Mining Co. This is where you're gonna have that mirror maze there at the Moonstone Mine. But they also have some mining things that you can purchase here as well as uh, like a little gemstone fill a bag type thing. And the final activity is Northern Lights Arcade. This is a little bit smaller than Anaheim's Arcade, but it looks like they do have a lot of fun, different games and activities in here. Of course, ones that are gonna let you score tickets so that you can go to the prize uh, exchange. We'll probably go into that arcade a little bit later, maybe tomorrow before we're on the way out. I completely missed this. They do have a climbing wall as well. This is included in that big all-inclusive pass for $85. They also handed us this list of free complimentary activities that are a part of your stay here. You just show up at the location at the desired time and you can participate. Right now it is 3.15, which means the spring breakout craft time at Camp Howell is going on and that's what this is right here craft time at camp how benjamin's going to make a bracelet now we're going to take our craft materials and we're going to make a bracelet out of them and here it is complete only took us maybe five minutes to put that together next we came over here to do the bowling we got two with bumpers for the kids you can put your names in then you come here to the cool bowling alley and you get to play now it's benjamin's turn Wow! You got nine! That was amazing! This is taking quite a bit of time, isn't it? So, for, for like $24 for the whole family, it's not a bad price. It's actually cheaper than regular bowling. You don't have to write or anything like that. Yeah, pretty good. Look while we were bowling, it looks like Wiley Wolf came by. The kids are kind of hiding from Wiley Wolf. <laughs> but there's Wiley Wolf. It's 421 and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna get some pizza at the Hungry as a Wolf pizza place. So it looks like the base cost on a 16-inch pizza is $20 and then it disappeared. 
Oh, you can buy it by the slice for $4.49 for cheese, $4.99 for pepperoni. And over here are a couple of pasta options that you can get as well. Amy ordered a Caesar salad. This was $8.99 for just a, a single individual salad that's about the size of it. And they do have family salads for $14.99 that uh, are a little bit larger that you can get if you want it as a side to your pizza. I can see them in there cooking my pizza in the oven right this minute. There we go. Here's a look at our pizza. We've got pepperoni on the whole pizza. Onions on just half. Here's my hand for size comparison. So these are pretty good size pizza. And uh, we got a uh, 16 inch. Pizza was pretty good. I mean, you know, it, it's not gonna like blow up your taste buds or anything, but it was, it was decent pizza. No complaints from me. Uh, right now, we are gonna go pick up our luggage. We got a text at about 3.45 that our room was ready. We were bowling at the time. Uh, it is 4.50 now because we ate dinner a little early. We're gonna pick up our luggage, go to our room, get changed, and then go to the water park. All right, here we go. This looks nice. Love the little lamps on the wall. Oh, they got different ones. This one's a bear. Check out this view from our floor. Pretty nice, mountains in the background, some palm trees. Here is a look at our room. We just got a standard room, so it comes with two queen beds, a very nice uh, display or mural there on the back wall. We do have a couch. I wonder if this is a pull-out couch. I'll have to check that out in just a minute. There's table and chairs, a little bench. We do have some drawers as well as a refrigerator. I always like to check the refrigerator, see if it's pretty cold. Um, mm, kind of cold. The ice box, nope, not, not very cold. It's always a big problem with hotel refrigerators that they're not very cold. Uh, we have the sink here out in the main room itself. And what are you doing? <laughs> Is that like a little luggage hiding place for your kids? <laughs> now let's go in the bathroom. Pretty smallish bathroom here. Nice display with the towels there hanging up. Come in here to the shower. We do have a tub. It's always good to know because our youngest does not like to take showers. We have a bar of soap here, but I don't see any toiletries. I'm gonna check them out here. Uh, cleansing bar, body lotion, and shampoo. Okay, conditioning shampoo. So they do have them both out here. And that's everything. They do have the closet over here. Um, Oh, an extra blanket and pillow. Excellent. Now we're going to check that couch, see if it's a pullout. Ah, there it is. There's the handle. It's perfect. Yep. We have a pullout couch here. The GoPro is out now, and we're headed into Wiley's Water Park. So they have height markers here, and they put colored wristbands on your child's arm to let the uh, lifeguards at the different stations know what level they're approved for. Benjamin is gonna be approved for yellow, I think, and James is approved for green. Here we go, Benjamin's like, oh! Okay, wow, we have the talking stick treehouse. Splash services, towels and info. This is where we need to come first. You do not bring your room towels into the Great Wolf Lodge water park. You pick them up here and you drop them off here. Every towel that you forget to check in is $15 that will be added to your room charge if you do not return the towels. Now that we have our towels, we're gonna look for a place to flop our towels and claim our spots. Well, we found four lonely chairs all the way in the corner. Managed to snag them right next to where these tubes come out. It looks like it leads straight into the lazy river if you wanted to. Someone just came out there. Let's see if we can catch someone popping out of one of these tubes. Whoa, that was pretty fast. There's the lazy river. We have to go all the way around the lazy river, it looks like, to get over to those slides. Over to our right is like a toddler area. Nice little splash features. Some small water slides over there for the toddlers to enjoy. And it looks like a one foot three inch deep pool right here. These two slide exits are for the family slides. 
And then right next to that is one of the body slides. So we'll have to check those out. For right now, let's just go do uh, one of these family slides. Uh, River Canyon Run is the one on the top, so let's do that. They do have signage here to tell you which side of the path to walk up for whichever of the slides that you want to go on. Well, nice view from here. This is a fantastic view. At about 5.30 in the evening, this is all the line there is for one of those family slides. There's maybe like two families in front of us and that's it. Sign right there says that River Canyon Run is for two to five riders with a maximum weight of 800 pounds. Guests under 42 inches tall must be accompanied by a supervising companion. Uh same Alberta Falls and Alberta Falls. So we're just gonna come over here and take a line. the lighter color tube. Here we go. since we're already in tubes. So we're just gonna hop into the lazy river. Benji just completely took off. But this, this lazy river is so tiny, I don't care. It's not like the one on Lake Land where you lose sight of them. Yeah. But this one is pretty nice. At least it's small. We're moving pretty good. There's Benjamin. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. He's running away. He's running away. And we're already right back at the entrance. <laughs> A minute and 42 seconds to go around that whole loop. I caught up to James. Kids wanted to come check out this next. The awesome little play tower. So here at the Talking Stick Tree House, they've got a little slide right here, a couple of water features like this one right here. If you turn the wheel, it makes water start to come out of the top of it. They've got yank cords. They've got tons of little mini dump buckets all around, the little conical ones. They have the major big dump bucket that you saw at the beginning of this video. Um, we have some fun little play features like this here where you can, you know, lift up the dam and let more water flow, that sort of thing. Let's head up these stairs and show you what's all around. They have a red slide right here, which is at the very, very top of this tower. They also have a blue slide that's covered, but it looks like it possibly uncovers itself. It does. It uncovers right there and continues on around down this way. 
Oh, and they've got uh, another slide, but it looks like it's closed off at the moment. They have a chair in front of it. Of course, you can see the wave pool from up here. Good vantage point, actually, for quite a bit of the water park from up here. Uh, you can see the lazy river, the tube slides, the family slides, the single body slide. I got a bunch of cabanas there on the back row. Cabanas lockers over there. Those blue things are lockers. And then they have a restroom in there. If it's like the one in, in uh, Anaheim, they also have swimsuit dryers in there that, that'll rotate and spin really, really fast and get a lot of the water and condensation out of your swimsuits. Uh, over off to the right is Timbers and Buckets, which are gonna be your dining locations here. Do the watering hole and get some alcoholic beverages. And over there was the splash services for the towels. There's one more thing over there that we have to go show you. Let's check out the cost of the lockers. $12 for standard, $15 for a large, $20 for a jumbo. So standard, a large, and jumbo are down here. And here is Chinook Cove. You can come in here and play some basketball. And then over here off to the right, they've got um, some like leaping lily pad type attraction. Except for it's not lily pads, it's tree stumps. And you've got the net to help you get across it. Uh, but basically, you can try to navigate that. Very difficult to navigate across those. My kids had a time of it uh, over in Anaheim. But, uh, oh, they, it looks like they also have a pool, an actual pool, out that direction. James is trying to cross the lily pads now. Benjamin's taking a slightly different approach. He's just jumping. Just like a frog. We just heard the wolf howl, and when the wolf howls, the wave pool is about to begin. So here we go, over to the wave pool. We're gonna splish and splash and wave and surf and, and ride the waves. The wave pool at its deepest is five feet deep. So I can fully get all the way down to the end of that issue. If I can talk. Benjamin's hanging out down there in the jets. But James is down here. Pick you up. Pick you up. Uh -huh. I want to go in the five feet area. Okay, here. We're going to go deeper and deeper into the jungle. Come here, Benji. Da -da -da -da. We have a couple of more water slides to do, but it's getting pretty late. I don't know what time it is because there's no clock in here, but I feel like it's getting pretty late. So we're going to go back, get the, the boys in bed uh, so they can have a nice restful evening. Here are the hours of operation. It does say the buckets and timbers close at 7, so it must be after 7. Raccoon Lagoon closes at 6. The outdoor water park and indoor water park both close at 8. And the watering hole, the bar closes at 8 as well. I actually have a full list of hours on the outside here. The only day that it opens before 10 is Saturday and Sunday. Today is a Tuesday, tomorrow is a Wednesday, so 10 a.m. for us. It's about 8 p.m. and we're coming to Ben and Jerry's, get some ice cream before the kids go to story time in the lobby. That'll be fun, story time in the lobby. Over here, there's a, a like a queue set up for Dunkin' Donuts. They're expecting major long lines. It took us 25 minutes to get our Dunkin' order the last time we were at Grateful in Anaheim. So we're expecting to be uh, pretty busy tomorrow too. All right, here is a look at what we got. We got a large over here with two different flavors. And because it was cheaper that way, and we're just splitting them into two different cups. So rather than spend $4 for a kids, we spent $6 for a large, and they both get the same amount of ice cream. So there you go, save $2. Amy got the cone here, what'd you get? I got a kids chocolate chip cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough. And I got a small uh, mint chocolate chunk. I know it doesn't look it, but that's what I got. Here in the lobby is where you're gonna find story time. According to our timesheet, it's 8.30 tonight. So the kids are going to watch and enjoy some story time.
It's the next morning now, and I just wanted to provide a little bit of information about the hotel room itself before we get on with our day and showing you the rest of the things we still have here to do at the Great Wolf Lodge in Scottsdale. Um, as far as the room goes, so I bring a pillow every hotel I visit because I never know what the, ho the pillows are going to be like. This is the one time I got to say I absolutely hated the pillows here. Hated them. They're tiny. I don't know how you felt about them. I mean, I was so tired last night. It didn't really matter. Like, I felt like I was sleeping like this. I don't know. It just wasn't good for me. Of course, the water park is amazing. That's the main reason why you're coming. This is nice in that we could go in last night, and then you have until 8 p.m. or whenever the water park closes the day of checkout as well. Yeah. So we didn't feel rushed last night. We went in for a couple hours. We're going in for a couple hours again today. All right, well, we are in the water park and uh, we grabbed a table. Uh, they had uh, some tables that we put our stuff at, which would be great for lunch. And now we are gonna go do Diamondback, the big family coaster we did not get to do yesterday because of how long the line was. We're hoping it'll be a decent line today. This is Diamondback Drop. See if James does it. There he comes. Here he comes. There he goes. Oh, he sat up. He sat up. So he's slowing down. You sat up. So you slowed down a lot. And I was a lot slower. You like that? <laughs> it is lunchtime now, and we are going to either come to Buckets or Timbers. Let's check and see what they have on the menu here at Buckets. Looks like we have a crispy chicken sandwich meal, hot dog meal, chicken strips meal, bacon cheeseburger, cheeseburger, kids meal, Caesar salad, Greek salad, fries, family style fries, loaded family style fries, Bavarian pretzel, loaded nacho box. At Timbers, it looks like we have a carne asada street taco, barbacoa, carnitas, pulled chicken, beer battered fish, fajita vegetables, some shareables, carne asada fries, timber nachos, quesadillas, they've got some kids food as well. Oh, and churros. Uh, I got a drink with my meal because I got a meal. The food will be coming shortly. But the interesting thing with drinks is they have this QR code. You have to scan the QR code next to the Coke machine and then it has a balance on it. So this had like a 20 ounce balance and I filled up 15 ounces and it said I had like five or five ounces left. So I can go back up and I'll only be able to fill it up like this much and then the machine will shut off on me. So you have to buy a refillable cup if you want to be able to just get unlimited refills. Otherwise, they have waters and uh, waters aren't going to have any of those limitations. You can just go up there and get water. By and large, the lines have been pretty good or non-existent here this morning. Uh, we rode Diamondback twice. We did the uh, River Canyon run once. Uh, we did Alberta Falls twice and there were hardly any line. Little bit of waits, but nothing like they were last night. So first thing here in the morning, the park is definitely not as crowded as it was yesterday evening for sure. Um, having a good time so far. Amy's food has arrived and this is the carne asada tacos from Timbers. So she gets three of them. I see uh, some cilantro in there and we have some nice looking steak, some onions, uh, some cheese on top. They're, they're pretty small. This is hand comparison for my size. So, the, I mean, the tacos are, are fairly tiny. They're street tacos, um, but you get three of them and they look very, very well done. Okay, so what we have here is the chicken tender meal. This is a small meal. 
and then I got a cheeseburger meal with a large fry, and then I ordered a side of fries for $5.99. This is the side of fries. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing that this is my large fry that I got with a large meal. I got a larger cup as well. We got some barbecue sauce over here, some ketchups, and um, this you know, looks like a pretty standard fare, but it's very, very hot. Very, very good temperature-wise. It looks good. My cheese is melted on my burger. Um, this looks this looks very good. The burger was a fantastic temperature. The melted cheese had very good flavoring. I've had a lot of theme park burgers in my life, and you know I can tell a good theme park burger and a bad one. And this one was fantastic, especially compared to a place like Sesame Place. Wow. The burgers here are awesome. Didn't have any chicken tenders, but I did have one of Amy's uh, carne asada tacos. Those were fantastic too. I would say the tacos are better than the cheeseburger, but both of them are really great items to have. Uh, I will say one mistake that I made is that I ordered a side of fries because you know how when you order like a, a large combo of something at McDonald's, you get maybe like five extra fries over a regular size from an upgrade to a large. No, not the case here. I got a lot of fries. I mean, it was so many fries. Uh, we still have fries left over. Even the uh, adult strips, uh, chicken strips meal that the kids split, they only ate one chicken tender each and are filled full. So we have two chicken tenders left over from their meal. Plus, um, they ate most of their fries, but we have uh, that whole side of fry left over and quite a bit of my large fries left over. Uh, the tacos all went, like I said, they were pretty small in size, not very filling there, but fantastic taste-wise. So out here is Raccoon Lagoon, which is their outdoor pool. The sign inside says it's closed due to weather, but uh, it is gonna be 69 degrees today, so I guess they decided to open it and uh, there's quite a few people out here using that pool they also have a hot tub and it looks like it's a uh, um, zero degree type one though the water you know pushes over the edge here that's pretty neat quite a huge hot tub it's called northwoods springs is their hot tub there gorgeous view of the whole lodge from up here too now we're going to go into the arcade and you have to purchase a paw points card so i'm just going to show you the step for that it says it does not dispense change it's fine. We just clicked one card. Now they have a $5 game card, which is 16 paws. So what is that? Um, uh, three paws is a dollar. A hundred paws for 25, which is basically four paws per dollar. And then they have the really big ones, 50 and 100. You get some free paws. Uh, I selected this and then look, it said, would you like for an extra $10 to get 40 more paws, which is 10 free paws. So I said, sure, why not? and uh, we were able to get 140 paws for $35. Now we're gonna come in here, we're gonna play some games and we're gonna win some prizes. So James wants to do this, Benjamin wants to do this. So the Mo Monopoly Man is eight paws, which is $2. Okay, go ahead. Not 10, that's all. 124, uh, 40, 40 fine. 40 is okay, it's better than 10. So we're getting that added straight to our card here. Benjamin's gonna play Whack a Clown, and that is six paws, so that's a dollar and a half. Go, 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 go. Here, help him, help him, help him. Help him, help him, help him, help him. Don't hit the red ones. Don't hit the red ones. Okay, we got 2160. 43 tickets. They have like a Lightning McQueen style car over here. We're playing the squirt gun game. Go, 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 James, go. Wow, we get a big ticket. You win a big prize ticket. This is what it says over here, that uh, two or three players is one big ticket, and one big ticket is 200 ticket. Couple by that with the fact that it's 10 paws each, so for 20 paws, we got 200 tickets. Go. So I played Space Invaders and it says player two, invader bonus, a thousand tickets. And look at this. It's just going up. Tickets have been added to your card. It's still going. It's still going. I love this game. <laughs> so we had a total of 1,750 tickets. Over here are some of the bigger ticket items. I'm just showing you for comparison purposes. AirPods for 60,000. Show me all your prizes, boys. 
James got the stuffed animal axolotl, and Benjamin got a collapsible ball, a glider. There's like a little fist thing. He also has something else behind there. Uh, oh, a pencil. And uh, James got a mini Connect Four travel game. We got a pretty good haul, if I do say so. It's 2.30 and we are headed out. We put our luggage in with the uh, Bell Services again today. So even though checkout was at 11, <laughs> Benjamin showing you one of his prizes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <James> <laughs> showing you that. Uh, we got to stay here quite a bit after checkout, yeah, just I mean, enjoy it. Yeah, all the way to we could be here all the way to eight if we wanted to be. But we have another hotel to go to. Yeah, doing some of the free activities is great. Definitely take advantage of some of those free activities. They give you prizes. They give you you know fun things. If you're thinking about coming to the Great Wolf Lodge, pull the trigger. Do it. It's better than any just normal hotel stay by far. And it's about the same amount of cost for, for some of the hotels like yeah, in the Anaheim fine. area. Yeah, and it's nice at this time of year, especially because the water park's all indoors. So you don't have to worry about getting sunburned, you don't have to worry about being cold or too hot. It's yeah. just, it's always the same temperature inside, so. It's absolutely amazing. Come stay at the Great Wolf Lodge. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you again next time.